care, buddy wing rider. I don't know how well the audio is going to be on this. There's the front of my Ford F-150. Bear with me on the audio. Bear with me on the audio on this for a minute. I'll show you what I'm doing here. I just mowed a whole bunch of grass yesterday with my new snapper. And I need to mow this little part of the pasture out here. My brother-in-law owns a big auto diesel outfit and everything and he's back here behind me. Okay, I got this GoPro on a head band. Uh, finishing more Mahindra tractor. I don't know if the battery's dead on this damn thing or not. Last time I had to jump start it. Okay, turn the key on. We'll let the glow plugs heat up. All neutral stuff. Come on, you can start. Yeah, success. See how much fuel we got there. I have these yellow tinted glasses. These things are amazing. You can see a lot better with these. There's at least half a tank. That's good. Raise the mower. Reverse medium. It's got a bucket on it. We'll raise that up. Brakes on. We got a tractor next to it with the air conditioned cab and a big mower. Why don't you use that one? Because this finishing mower is really cool. I like it. It mows a lot smoother than that big ass bush hog right there. Now the audio is going to be crap on this, I'm sure, because uh, of the engine noise. But just hang in there. This is just part of my day today. I need to mow a bunch of that back there. But I'm just showing you some of the stuff I do every day when I get up. I have something the night before a list of stuff I need to get done that day. Because working on this place, we got 40 acres. It's a hell of a lot to keep up with, but I do it. And oh, recently I just found, let me let's warm up, a, a Facebook page, Florida Highway Patrol Friends and Family. I'm retired Florida Highway Patrol. I had an injury that didn't help me at all. But uh, was able to retire comfortably. I got a bad lower back. It just kills me sometimes. It's a degenerative disc disease. They call it the degenerated disc. But I get around. I lost some weight, got healthier, and I do pretty good as long as I know when my limits are. Uh, but yeah, Florida Highway Patrol friends and family, and I've been linking up with troopers that I haven't seen since the Academy 30 years ago and other troopers, friends over the years, but it's just something else. Anyway, let me mow a little bit and show you just what I do because these guys asked me, well, you have a YouTube channel under John Wingrider. They asked me, well, let's see some videos. And I haven't done a lot. I do mostly riding videos on motorcycle, but there's other things to life and, and then motorcycle riding. So let me see, let me start out second gear, medium, Turn the mower on, let it down. There we go. We'll go a little bit faster, third gear medium. The ideal place to run is the, the 540 PTO. There you go. That's the one I'm looking for. The audio probably sucks on this, but hang in there. That does a nice job. I mow it all in here with my mower. There's my place. It's a single wide, it's a single wide mobile home. It's Nothing fancy, but it's clean and it's mine. And I own there's like 12 acres down there. There's like 14 total that are mine.
in-laws got some kind of contract or something with FEMA. They work on their trucks and they park the FEMA trucks out here. They, they park them around the country in different places. And there's some FEMA stuff over there. That's my brother Chris's place right up here. He's a motorcycle enthusiast like myself, but he likes Harley Davidson's. I don't really care for him that much. Doesn't make me anti-American. But now what I was saying is you get out every day and accomplish something for yourself or somebody else. Just mark something off the list. Make improvements on your home or work in your yard, grow a vegetable garden, help a neighbor mow their yard for them. You know, find an older person that can't do certain things and help them out. Anything. Just accomplish something besides sitting on your ass. I'm 55 years old. If I'd been sitting on my ass since I retired from highway patrol, I'd probably be dead now. Or so fat I couldn't walk. But I'm doing good. I'm I got up to 245 pounds and my health wasn't bad and so I just said enough. I was depressed when I left the patrol and I, 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 enough, you know. So I started finding stuff to do. I got on this paleo diet, lost some weight. My doctor said whatever you're doing, keep doing it. You're doing fine. I quit buying frozen crap, throwing it in the microwave. I started buying fresh meats and vegetables and learning how to cook. And I started losing weight. Now I'm, I'm, I'm off of most of the medications I was taking. I only take a couple pills every day, blood pressure, thyroid. And I'm down, I'm like 215 pounds right now for 245. But I'm just naturally a big guy, so. But I'm feeling a lot better except for my lower back, which is crap, and I got arthritis in my elbow. Anyway, let's mow. Remember the trooper 10 they called it, but your left arm was 10 and your right one wasn't? You were sitting in the patrol car, this end toward the window. Now both of my arms are 10 pretty good. I love the sun, I love outside. TV will rot your brain. Although I do like Netflix, I like watching the old TV shows. I am an expert authority on the Andy Griffith Show. Ask me anything about any episode and I can answer it. I'm a Christian. I believe in the Lord Jesus Christ and His Father God. There's the other way around. Anyway, here's the thing about doing stuff for other people. Older people, you know, do you, you know, I go by, you know, yard needs mowing. I ask him, is it okay if I mow your yard for you? Oh yeah, I mow the yard. They give me a little money for my gas. That's, that's not a problem, you know. And you do stuff like that for people and work hard, do your own stuff. Good things happen to you. Good karma. And as a Christian, there's a connection there. Think about it. Okay, if you don't do anything good or you do bad things, bad things happen to you. So, think about it. You ever thought about picking up a Bible and reading it? There's a lot of stories in there, life lessons. I mean, this thing was written thousands of years ago, what, 2,000 years ago? Anyway, you read through it, and I had a problem doing this or that, and the answer was in there. <laughs> it's an answer book. It'll answer questions for you. There's some great stories in there, too. So, I mean, just give it a read if you like to read. You know, why not? It's interesting. It's really interesting. And 
one thing it says is that having a good name is like a fine ointment. And 2,000 years ago, a fine ointment was everything. So having a good name, a good family name, keep it that way. You know, people mention your name, your family name. Oh, those are good people, you know, and everything. Well, having a good name, keep it that way. You know? Anyway, let me mow. I'm just saying, you know, I'm just putting that out there because I'm a Christian and I'm just saying, you know, so even though I hadn't been to church in months, I go on holidays and I go out and help them make candy on Tuesday nights and stuff like that. Anyway, there's my 1967 farm all, 1951 John Deere 44. And behind that's a 1936 model B John Deere, and I also got a 1939 model B John Deere. I got into restoring and messing with old tractors, but it hurts my back so bad I had to quit. So I started messing with motorcycles. It's a lot lighter, and I like riding and messing with motorcycles. And lawnmowers. I love lawnmowers and cutting grass. Go figure. Oh. Racism is a disease. Let's kill it, okay? Let's stop talking about it. I live in the South, okay? I was raised more or less a redneck, but the way I was raised was we're all brothers and sisters down here, you know? We're, we're all one big, huge family. Think about it. Let's move. pattern that I mow in. I just mow. I cleared out this fence row this past summer and I need to mow it again. But you see how nice a job this finishing mower does it like a lawn mower. Really nice job. pay me to do this? No, they're family. You know, they've done stuff for me, I do stuff for them. It's my sister and my brother-in-law's place back here. We're all on the same farm or the same family land together and I just mow everybody's, I mow the whole thing, my yard, my mom's, my sister's, my brother does his own, but I do all the rest and I trim and I cut and I haul and because I like doing it, it's something to do. I mow my sister's backyard because I have the time to do it and they work, so it, it helps them and it helps me. And my sleep patterns are kind of messed up. You know, years of work and shift work and and I have problems with my lower back. Some days I can't get out that well, and if I don't, if I if I sleep in my recliner during the day, I don't sleep at night, and so I'm up and down. I try to go to bed at 11 o'clock and get up like six in the morning or something like that every morning. What do we do? All right, hang on a minute. It jumped into neutral on the arm there. I must have not had it fully engaged in here. Anyway, like this Mahindra, it's a pretty neat tractor. All right, let me get back to it. Let's mow. I can run anything. <coughs> Excuse me. I can 
drive anything. I can run pretty much anything. I probably couldn't fly the space shuttle if you asked me, but I can do just about anything else. Run the tractors, bulldozer, excavator, you know, stuff like that. There's a big excavator back there. It's not mine. I haven't run it. My brother-in-law borrowed it from somebody that he probably did some work for. He dug a big hole back there to dump brush and stuff that I've been dumping in to burn. But I started working for... Anyway, let, let me kill this one because you get in like more than 20 minutes the GoPro loop. So let me kill this one. I'll get back with you. Okay, we're back. What I do is add the first one to the second one because the, the Canon Pixie camera, it'll just keep filming. The GoPro loops after 20 minutes and I don't know what it does. It just kind of does some funny stuff. So anyway, let's mow a little bit. If you get bored, that's okay. My videos are boring, but if you know me, it's kind of interesting to see what I do every day. And the people that you know and you care about, like, uh, a trooper I hadn't seen in 30 years since the academy, his name's Johnny, one of my best friends in the whole world then. I heard from him in the first time in 30 years yesterday. And because of Facebook, friend, uh, Highway Patrol friends and family. And people like that that you've met years ago and they're like family to you, which they technically all, they are family to me. All law enforcement is. But Johnny was something else. And there was another guy named John, his last name was started with a W. Him too, a bunch of them. You know, there was a guy, Borkowski. I mean, a lot of them that she went through stuff with and I'm reconnecting with these guys and I like to see what they're doing now because it's been 30 years since the Academy. I've since retired and most of them guys are too and I just like to see what are you doing these days and YouTube is an excellent format for that. You know watch each other's videos. I got into YouTube in a, maybe four years ago and mine are pretty boring videos. They're not interesting that much, but people that can look at them, hey, that's what he's doing. Anyway, let's mow. Shout out to Johnny and John and Matt. All you guys from FHP, an agency that I love. But uh, life goes on and this is after the retirement. So anyway, let's mow. I was using the foot control. I want to get my RPMs about where it's 540 PTO. RPM. My whole life I've never drank, I've never smoked, and when you get older that kind of stuff catches up with you, but I never did any of that, so my lungs are clear, my doctor says at 55 years old I've got a heart like a plow horse, everything's good. Blood pressure's a little high, but I take a pill for that. But she said, I'm one of the more healthy 55 years old she's ever seen. But you got to get yourself out there. Eat right. You can't eat what you used to. You have to change your diet around. Change the way your life, you know. Anyway, there we go. I'm 
I'll kill this one for a while. You've seen enough of what I'm doing here. I've got a whole list in, on my agenda for today. Uh, I got a cousin up the hill. Uh, her mower died on her, and she's a nurse. She works all the time. But I started mowing her place for her. She's got two pastures, yard. It's all probably oh 15 acres that aren't woods. And I've been using my other tractor, my 140 farm mow with a bush hog mower, and then I take my ride mower up there for the yard. And I've been mowing her place for her. And she leaves a gas can out there where I use her gas. And so it's just one of them things that gives me something to do and helps out somebody. But anyway, I'll get back with you. If the audio on this is any good, let me tell you a little story here. Um, I just turned 17. I'm in the 10th grade in high school. Growing up as a kid on a farm with cousins that are big farmers, you, you learn how to shoot and drive and run equipment and you, you, you crop tobacco and load hay bales and pitch watermelons. You build up your mu muscles and everything. And you get a summer job when you're not in school. Well, I got to the point where when I was 17, 10th grade in high school, just turned 17, I went to this Ford tractor dealership in Madison and asked them for a part-time job. And they knew my family. This is where a good family name comes in. They hired me. So after school every day, I would go to work there and I would clean up and do light mechanical work. And then I started doing heavier mechanical work as I started learning how to do that stuff because I was a decent mechanic already. This is diesel, tractors and such, heavy work. But when I was 17, you know, heck, I could have kicked Superman's ass. But I worked there, and when I graduated high school, the next day, all the kids are going on the senior trip. I went to work full time and saved my $400. I didn't want to go on no cruise to the Bahamas, because all they do is drink and party, and I wasn't into all that bull crap. So I worked full time there for three or four more years. Then I went to work at a diesel shop where they worked on semi trucks for a while. I put my application in on the highway patrol back in 1987 and they were slow to respond, but I finally got a letter in January 12, I believe it was, on Sunday, 1989, I was in the academy, first day. It was hard for me. I wasn't as smart as some of the other guys, you know, and I had to study a little bit harder, but I, I squeezed by and I made it. And they sent me to Sarasota County, Venice, Florida. I was there for 10 years before I was able to transfer back to home to Madison and then finished out my career there. And it was worth it. Law enforcement was a good profession. It was an honorable profession. And until Obama and his people destroyed it. But it was doing pretty good. Sorry about the politics there, but truth is truth. When your politicians are against law enforcement, they do this, they shouldn't do that. They have no business in that. Well, you should support law enforcement. You know, people believe all kind of bullshit. They, they believe stories that aren't true. But then you see every now and then you got an idiot who's an officer and there's a video of him kicking some, some handcuffed person, which is insane. But it goes viral and now all cops are that way. It's not true, okay? You get a bad apple here and there. But in a whole, they're good people. They do a tough job. Anyway, that's it. Let me kill this one and I'll move on. I gotta share one more thing with you while it's in my head. This is as far as law enforcement goes. When you 
deal with the public. Basically, you're protecting the public from themselves is what our job was, and to protect ourselves from them at the same time. I know it's an attitude, but it's true. Here's the thing, though. When you see officers punching or kicking people, they don't teach officers to punch and kick people. We're not kickboxers, okay? You have to use controlling force. Think about this. You punch somebody, their hands are still free. They're just more pissed off. You want to control their hands. Get them in the handcuffs. It's common sense. So when you're watching TV and you see an officer kick or punch somebody, they don't teach that to officers, okay? However, if you're in a life and death struggle, the rule book goes out the window and you do whatever the hell you have to do to survive. Common sense. All right, hang in there.